When it comes to putting, there's three big myths. You putt with your shoulders, you don't use your hands and wrist, and you keep the imaginary triangle form between your shoulders and your two arms. Those are just myths. It's simply not true. And one thing I want you to understand is the neurology of the body. So if we look at this picture of our humunculus, you can see the size of the parts of the body based on how much is in our frontal motor cortex, which controls movement of the body. You can see, look at the face, four or five senses are in the face. Look at the size of the hand. There's a ton in our hands. And then look at the shoulder, hardly anything in the shoulder. So it's just a myth that we control the putter with our shoulders. So here are these three big myths that we putt with our shoulders. We don't use our hands and wrists, we keep the triangle. To me, this all comes from the biggest myth in golf that the big muscles and in putting, that would be your shoulders, control the little muscles. In my world, the little muscles, your arms, hands and wrists are in the leading role and the big muscles, your shoulders, or some would say their core, control the putter and putting. To me, these are all myths. I can't believe how many people I have helped through the years by just giving them permission to use their hands and wrist. My friends that have all kinds of things that can measure you, they have 3D, they have Sam Putt Lab. What they tell me is no two strokes are the same. No two thumbprints are the same. You really have to find your natural intuitive stroke. And you're going to find that when you have people roll balls at you and you just hit the putt back to them or back to the hole. If you do that, you will find your natural intuitive stroke. Your distance control is going to stink if you're trying to control distance with your big muscles, your shoulders. You control distance mainly with your trail arm and hand. I hope that helps your putting. All the best.